I've never actually seen the title screen for this game before. Because the first time I recorded this, I, I just, it was my first time and, and the game skipped the title screen and went right into it. Anyway, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Michael and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. And the little, the little chime that plays when I hit the X button on the title screen, that is the, like, the first sound that plays when you put a diamond, pearl, or platinum cartridge into your, into your DS. Is that, is that, um... Has that uh, sound effect been used anywhere else in this game? I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Anyway, let's see. I I believe I, I finally like finished the like the tutorialization section of the game the last time, or at least the bulk of it anyway. And I've I've been set loose into the game to to do things, and um, now I need to actually figure out what those things are. That marvelous rich tone. How is it produced? I must know. All right, so you want me to go and like catch, I don't know, a violin or something. Um, hello, didn't see you there. Wait, you're from the Survey Corps. Wonderful, just the person I need. I want to learn more about Cricketot. Oh, that would make sense. Uh, you must be curious about them as well, right? I mean, how do they make those sounds of theirs? It's a musical mystery like no other. I'll be in your debt if you could complete Cricketot's page in your Pokedex and show it to me. I mean, uh, we can uncover the truth. All right. Yeah, uh, quests and, and, and video games, they, they can be like that. You've got one for me as well. I believe you were saying something about mushrooms before I hit the A button. Oh, you're that girl from the Survey Corps who fell from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about this great cake lure recipe I invented. I call it the mushroom cake. I poured 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe, and I know it's just a winner. Problem is, folks around here just aren't catching on to my recipe's amazing potential. But you're the talk of the village. If people see you making my mushroom cakes, famous as you are, I'm sure they'll want to give it a go too. I'll teach you the recipe. All you have to do in return is spread the good word by using it. Oh, and you'll need to get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Scrou uh, scrounge, okay. I thought that said scourge for a moment, as in like scourge of the seven seas. But scrounge not from the forges of thy fellows, as the old saying goes. One springy mushroom is all you'll need. I'll be waiting. Okay. So we have, uh, we have, have pivoted from the survey core to like the advertising core or something like that. I believe the main quest, okay, that is... I know there's a run button. Okay, it's the, it's the left stick. Like I said, it's, it's been a bit of time since I've, uh, since I've done this. I don't think I've caught a Drifloon yet. Um, did you just vanish into thin air? I heard music. Okay, I've been attacked. Um, Drifloon is not, not being super cooperative here. Ow. Appreciate it if you didn't do that. Um, alright. Not completely sure where you went. I, I should be able to target you, right? What button is targeting? Um, hang on. Let me get away from the one that's that's got it in for me. And let me try and uh, do a little bit of practice on something else, because... It has been a, a few days slash weeks slash I don't even know how long it's been since I played this. Um, I appreciate that you can just climb up onto places like this. All right. That was not what I meant to do to the Starly, but sure, let's do this. Also, now that I've had a few opportunities to uh, to listen to it, this is kind of a, a remix of the... The original Gen 4, um, thank you very much, b uh, the original Gen 4 battle theme. Um, alright, seriously though, something, how do I, okay, so I lock onto you with the left trigger. Uh, which is not what I was doing, I was doing the right trigger. And if I can just toss this at your head. Oh, that was, uh, that was not a Pokeball, that was a Cyndaquil ball. Look, this takes some getting used to, okay? Also, every time I hit um, left and right, I cycle through the cycle through the party member menu. Uh, that's another thing I'm gonna have to get used to not doing because I kind of a uh, kind of don't want to uh, to do that by accident, and then the next time I get into a fight, like wonder why the thing I thought was out in the front is not out in the front. All right. So there is. 
I, I guess since I've been like slowly making my way over here, uh, what what do you what do you people want, Galaxy member? There are many strong Pokemon that wait that make their home on this side of the bridge. All right, first. Oh, uh, you're ranked. You should be fine. Go on then. All right, thank you very much. Don't let your guard down, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Um, sign here to indicate that you have read the terms and conditions. All right, are you that traveling salesman that I met earlier, Ray? I'm going to forget your name every time I sit down to record a new recording session. Uh, just saying. I'm going to call you Proto Lucas, probably for most of the game. This here is Dragonite. My, my, a new face in the village. No, not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to help. All right, this is Mai. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is, if you know do we see. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need to help solving. So, the more important question is... Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokémon in battle? Probably. I mean, I've just kind of been winging it for most of the game so far, but... That security core of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Is it possible to have your Pokemon follow you around on the overworld, by the way? I don't remember. Anyway, so we're going to be sending out Buizel versus Munchlax. Um, let's see, Buizel is a, is a fairly... Although not extremely, the way uh, Floatzel is a physically oriented attacker. Munchlax is, of course, very defensive in all regards. Although a little bit more on the special side. Uh, you're gonna tackle me? I think, okay, I've got, um, Aqua Jet gets stabbed. They're both priority moves, they're both similar power. You did not choose to attack me a second time, so I think I'm gonna take my chances and do this, do this again. Uh, one more hit of whatever you did the first time, tackle, should bring me down to about five. Yeah, let's, let's go into the Pokemon menu, and does Shinx have Intimidate? For the ability. Um, I am not seeing an ability. Do we not have abilities in this game? Am I am I actually just bad at reading? Probably. Anyway, we're gonna bring in Shinx. One of the Pokemon I fought very hard to resist the urge to use when I played Brilliant Diamond. Uh, some, t some time ago. Thundershock will be stabbed, but that will uh, hit Munchlax as a slightly higher special t special defense. Let's go with Bite. That's got a flinch chance. And you're gonna tackle. And the uh, the Intimidate prompt did not come off, by the way. Okay, that is a two-hit KO. I really do not want any, any two-hit KOs. I guess I can always bring in the big guns. Uh, Cyndaquil is my highest level uh, team member. And therefore is likely able to tack to tank whatever whatever Munslax tries to do to me. Um, a little bit better than probably everybody else. Uh, you're gonna use rollout. That is gonna be a super effective rock type move. I'm gonna live that with H A H P. You are fixated on rollout, and I really, really would like this to this to run a damage roll in my favor. And it does, and we have defeated Munslax. Okay, battle decided. No fatalities. I guess fainting, everyone on my team gets a level there. No faintings, which is good. So Munchlax uh, has, a, has a bit of a headache. Sorry about that. You really aren't one of those usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. Thank you very much. Uh, you are going to let me have these, whatever those are. You, you people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? This should prove to be useful materials. This is going to be crafting materials then. Five Vivichokes. Alright, you and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old. The one we tell stories of to our children. I think you're indeed one, the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with the Alpha Pokemon causing trouble up on Deer Track Heights. It is a large, fearsome foe, like any Alpha, but you'll come, won't you? To Deer Track Heights? Alright, sounds like adventure. I'll be there in about 20 videos. The Arceus phone is beeping. Is that strange thing of me of yours telling you where to go? My, my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of those Galaxy Team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show the way to Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. 
I'll leave this bit to you. You shouldn't have any problem handling, handling an alpha. Seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps, a new one. Tough. Before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about the Almighty Sinnoh? Um, a bit. Let me just, let me just take a moment uh, out of the game and break the fourth wall just a little bit to make sure that my game is actually recording correctly because, okay, it looks okay. Yeah. All right. Better safe than sorry. Though I'm not certain you've been told the true story. The true story is the almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow. And this land of Uisi was born in the process. It's by the grace of almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Uisi region to venerate almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world uh, long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human, um, if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon he uh, here today in UEC with a connection to the Almighty Sinnoh. And I, I've caught myself inserting a, like, definite article of the in front of Almighty Sinnoh several times, and I don't think that's what she's actually saying. Um, hmm. I don't know how much I should, like, read into that besides that I, I'm bad at reading. And it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It's directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Got it right that time. Follow me and you may understand. So, and I don't think this is intentional, but my, my shoes and boots are... The coloration is also rem reminding me of Arceus. And uh, obligatory disclaimer... Every time I say that word, I know it's canonically Arce Arceus, but I think Arceus sounds better, so I'm going with that. Alright, so I see a Krikatot here. And if I- you're gonna- you're gonna run away. If I can have something out that's not like a level 12 Cyndaquil. Uh, let me fight you with a Bidoof. I got many Bidoof. Alright, that was just a terrible throw. I am sorry. I think you let it get away uh, on that one. Alright. Um, let's see, as I said, I will not be exclusively on video going and like filling out the Pokedex entries for every single Pokemon in, in the decks and doing all those side quests because that will take a very, very long time. Um, but I will, like, if something just happens to cross my path, I won't say no to it. Uh, speaking of which, did anyone like want a bunch of Starly or something like that? Bonk. All right. Something tells me you're gonna run pretty quickly, so I better get this over with fast. <laughs> Didn't even get to attack. I know there's something, uh, an item or something that you can use that will cause Pokemon that would run away to not run away, or at least encourage them not to, uh, a la the Safari Zone. In some games, I, I don't remember what that is. I should probably like go into my menu and read some item descriptions and see if I can find it. Anyway. Bjorn. You hail from the, the far-off land of Skyrim. Ho there! Mind helping a guy out? I'm, an, I'm after some cherry berries. You know them? The shiny red ones. They grow on some of the trees around here, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. That's where you come in, friend. Throw one of your Pokeballs at a berry tree, and your Pokemon will grab the berries for you. Uh, be, be sure the Pokeball you throw has a Pokemon in it, mind. It'd be a shame to waste an empty ball. If you hand me three of the cherry berry you'll get, I'll tell you another handy, another handy tip. Okay, so I, I'm pretty sure I have three cherry berries because I have been going around and harassing trees. Yeah, I've got I've got a number of berries. Um, let's see what else you want you want to tell me. You can throw a berry near a wild Pokemon. Oh, I was just talking about that. Okay, so it's a berry. Uh, grab their attention and keep them distracted. Why not give it a try on some of the Krikatot around here? All right, I will I will do that because somebody did want. Did want Krikatot data. There's a Geodude up there. I feel like I should make an attempt to have at least, like, one of... One of every Pokemon on hand at all times. Um, because... That's combat good. Uh, just in case there's, like, a one-off NPC somewhere who does indeed want to, um... Uh, you have the type advantage here, don't you? Uh, just in case there's a one-off NPC somewhere who does, like, want to have one of those. Uh, whatever it may be. But anyway... Swapping Shinx. You know, I forgot I can run around the battlefield while this is happening. That's so cool. I don't know why... 
I don't know why I'm so fascinated by this. But it's just, it's... I, I really like it. Alright, we pride ourselves a Geodude. And that's gonna, that's gonna, I guess, enter our, uh, our PC because I already have a couple levels there. Oh, uh, that's gonna enter our PC because I already have a, uh, a full team. I really can't call it a PC, can I? You are, like, staring at me intimidatingly from the corner. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you, put you in your place real quick. Hang on. Alright, Bidoof went down there, but that's alright. Uh, he fought well. Um, I should probably switch out somebody who's not fainted into the leadoff for now, though. Okay, so, uh, these Geodude are aggressive. I could spend all day here just fighting Geodude if, if I, if I let myself. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna make an effort to steer myself away from them. Excuse you, I said steer myself away from you. I'm, be I'm being chased by rocks. Nothing about this makes sense. Alright, good. Are these stones that I can break? These look harder than the other ones. Oh no, alright. Uh, that is going to give me Black Tumblestone. Alright. And there's uh, there's some of the red orangey ones up here. Um, there is no official climbing mechanic in this game, right? The way there is in, in Zelda Breath of the Wild and some other games? Uh, no. But I can... the uh, I can ascend terrain that has a fairly steep steep gradient, if I recall. Uh, perhaps a little bit slowly? Is that it? Alright, if I, if I throw something at this tree, something is going to attack me. And I've never been one for, like doing responsible things in video games, so you know what? Let's headbutt this, and that's a that's a Burmy. Okay. Uh, will I be able to fight you? Because I, I did see a Wormadam earlier, and I, I did not really like the way that was going to end at all, because it was like level 20-something. Uh, let me tackle you. And... Oh no! Oh, oh, this is... I'm in a double battle. That's... I did not see you down there. Okay. Uh, sorry, Bidoof. There goes my second Bidoof. I really wish I could nickname you, although, to be fair, uh, I'm, I foresee myself catching so many Pokemon in this game that I, uh, I'm, I'm probably going to run out of inspiration for names pretty quickly. Anyway, um, I'm focusing on the Burmy. Let me deal with the Burmy. I'm gonna try and catch the Burmy, obviously, and then I'm gonna deal with the Geodude down there, who's somehow rollouting me, like, through through the wall. I don't know how that exactly is supposed to work. Um, when did I get 32 Pokeballs? I, th I thought I had like 15 a minute ago. Maybe one of the NPCs gave them to me. Maybe that guy I was telling me about Cherry Bears gave them to me or something. Anyway, that's a Burmy. So, I don't know if there's anyone who wants a Burmy. But we'll, uh, we'll have something for them soon enough. Um, you did not use Rollout, so the combo is not continuing. And let me just get off a couple hits on you with with quick attack. Uh, can I, by the way, like, pick up whatever that is? I cannot. Not until the battle's over. Um. Let's see. What's the, uh, why shows the turn order? Okay, I feel like I should have that open. I don't know if I've accidentally been closing that or not. Um, it's, it's useful information to have available on screen. Uh, having... Having something as fast as a, as a Buizel going up against something as slow as a Geodude is rather nice, I must say. Um, because uh, I, I get to often get multiple hits in before you get to get a single hit in. Just because of the speed differential. That's something in, in, uh, in RPGs that Pokemon has really not had. Um, thanks to its, like, its one, one turn per round nature. Um, speed in Pokemon is, is important, but it's not, like, as overwhelmingly critical as it is in some other JRPGs, some other turn-based RPGs. Um, half my team is now down, and I think I would, I would like that to not be the case. Um, yeah, in some games, if you can, if you can go, uh, Aerial Ace is the most I can do to you. In, in some games, if you can, like, have a high speed stat and get in, like, three or four turns, maybe, maybe not that many, but get off multiple turns before your opponent gets a single hit in, that can, that can really um, affect the course of battle. Probably more than any other individual stat. Except maybe evasion. And we don't talk about evasion. So, we've caught ourselves a Geodude at the expense of, uh, I believe, two of my team members. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Burmy has leveled up in my, in my Pokedex. Which is a phrase I never thought that I would ever be saying in, in one of these games. But... Okay, you are, like, ab about to... That was a warning shot. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be over here. I've really, I've been recording for 20 minutes, and I barely made it, like, probably less than 200 meters from where I started. Actually, I could see that being a quarter mile, 400 meters or so. But what are these statues? This looks like, can I zoom in on this? First person Pokemon? Hang on, wait. Um, this looks like a Gibble. Is this a Gibble? I'm not sure about that one. I think that's a Gibble. Anyway, so my is up there. Um, which means that I'm gonna go this way. And I'm gonna pick up some medicinal leaks as I as I progress. I kind of feel like that is a Stantler. Uh, maybe let's let's stay a little bit away from you, Geo dude. Am I gonna be chased by rocks again? I am. All right, so a Pokemon can go and and ooh, nice try. A Pokemon can go and claim that stone. I do, I do want to see what's out this way. Um, let's see. Do I have healing items? I should probably think about using healing items before I go and take on the big bad whatever. Uh, that is a Parasect. Alright. That's new. I'm seeing a lot of Geodude and they are very angry. Uh, Starly are nice. Starly just, like, run away. Uh, Geodude are a little less nice. I mean, I'm sure they're, I'm sure they're perfectly, perfectly cheery once you, once you really get to know them and everything, but... Um, when they're just, when they're just kind of there on the overworld, uh, it gets a bit exhausting. Um, if I drop down here, I, I do not know how I am going to get back, and, you know, maybe that's okay. Do I want to drop down there? Hmm. What is this red thing? Ooh. Oh no, Okay. Um, having a little bit of, having a little bit of fun with the terrain. Um, uh, oh god, wow, okay. You are not letting me get close at all. Maybe I will interact with that red, red plant thing later. Uh, maybe I'll find another one. Maybe this over here is, is one of those. Alright, Parasect. You, go, you do your thing. Uh, that is a sword cap. Uh, there is a Paris down here. Alright. Right, I got myself a Paris. Uh, number caught one of one. I should probably, as I was saying, uh, think about healing my team at some point. Um, let's see, where am I going? What is tracking me? Do not know what is tracking me. All right, that's a cricket Uh Can I can I toss a berry? This would be a little bit rude, but will this work just as well? Nope, you're just gonna you're just gonna scram. And uh, maybe let's not use a. And you disappear. Did not mean to throw that one, but I meant to uh, cycle, toss an orange berry or maybe a, a cherry berry or something. Ball of mud, honey. Hmm. Anyway, I I see something like wiggling up there. That's that crystal is wiggling. All right. Can't quite climb up that one. If I smash this, am I gonna get ambushed by like a diglet or something? Probably, right? Um. Oops. That's what that guy told me not to do. Bonk. Alright, that's a G, dude. Alright, so my team is uh, slowly getting more more and more banged up. I should probably, um, one, bring out someone who's not completely, completely uh, down for the count. But two, uh, let me go back. Let me go back to base camp. Because I, I really, really could use some healing. Just looking at the map a little bit, uh, this is obviously where I am right now. What is, what is this? This is a lake? This looks like some place where legendary Pokemon is going to appear. Is this, does this happen to be, oh god, I can't remember which one of the, which one of the lakes is where. Um, Lake Verity? The one by, uh, the one by Twinleaf? Verity, I believe Acuity is up north and Valor is over here. Um, this is like Neolithic Sinnoh. Maybe not that, maybe not that early. This is like Bronze Age Sinnoh. Um, the geography should be approximately like 
in the same place as they are in like Future Sino, but hmm. I I feel like I've I've noticed this before and I pointed it out and I just forgotten by the time I got here because that's about how long it's been since I did this. Um anyway. So as much fun as I have with with uh with playing these types of, of Breath of the Wild, Legends Arceus open world games, these really are the worst types of games for me for me to do a let's play of because I just I, I, I wanna I wanna just float around and see what I find. But at the same time I really don't want to make videos that are just that. Anyway. I've been recording this video for a while. I'm gonna end things off here right before I go up there, talk to May and do whatever it is with the the Pokemon Alpha thing up up wherever. Uh so for now, my name is Dragonite, this has been Pokemon Legends Arceus. Can I, like, climb up to a cool-looking view to end this off? Because I like it when, I, when I'm able to do that. Like, record an end screen up in some, some place that looks visually... visually interesting. Can I, can I get up here? Oh, okay. That would be easy. Uh, next time we shall be going and doing whatever, whatever we need to do up here on this hill. Uh, the deer, the deer top hill or whatever it's called. I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later.